y'all. I'm not from the south, but I'm sure you're getting sick of me starting my videos with all right, so. It's hot today, it's hot as balls today. Somebody asked me what that meant. It's just, it's hot. And it's humid here, so if it was a dry heat, I could handle it, but it's it's humid here. We're, we're pretty close to the ocean, so it just doesn't have to be very hot before it's sticky and sweaty and hot as balls. So today is August 5th, and um, I think I'm gonna tackle my hair. It's, uh, it's getting to that point. I cut my own hair. I used to always go to the salon to get it done. I would always try my best to explain the kind of haircut that I wanted, but I'm so passive that at the end, when she'd say, so how's that? I'd just be like, yep, yep. And then go home and like fix it myself anyway. So now I just cut it like layers and stuff until I, until I like what I have. So, but it's time to touch it up again. I think it's, they're starting to get a bit dry. Um, so today I'm going to water my flowers and I have to set some legit goals for the next 12 weeks for my the Journey to Health collab. I've always been terrible at actually setting goals and then do my best to actualize those goals. It just never seems to happen. Um, and then I will also be finalizing the preparations on my adult Sunday school class that I teach for church tomorrow and my kids have been opening and abandoning a lot of bananas so I will be making some things with bananas trying to do a healthy substitutions recipe because as I commented on a comment somewhere I don't have any more white sugar in my house yeah, I only have like stevia and erythritol and xylitol and monk fruit and things like that. So come up with a healthy substitute recipe for something. And I have to tell you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a recipe for it or not, but I had some black beans that were going bad. If you remember from my, oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta cut my hair. If you remember from one of my snippets from life, it was called Swass about when you leave black beans too long and they turn disgusting and then you empty them into your garbage. It's just your house smells like swass for days. So I wanted to prevent that from happening. So yesterday I realized that I was on day three of the black beans in the fridge situation. And so I knew I wanted to try to make black bean brownies. So I took out all of these ingredients from my baking pantry and put them all on the counter and I should have taken a picture because it was a sight to be seen and I threw a bunch of things in and I didn't have any egg because I'd entertained the idea of switching over to vegan so we didn't have any eggs so I used flax eggs and the black beans and just a whole other smattering of random things and I kid you not they are the most delicious brownie thing I've ever experienced. It was incredible. I'll have to insert a picture so you can see them. And I'll try to remember all the things I added and how much, because it just, they're fantastic. So that's gonna be the rest of my Saturday. And of course, thus far, I mean, it's, it's gotta be like one o'clock. I have no concept of what day or time it is. I've been super productive already today. But I have caught up on a lot of the YouTube videos that I need to watch from Vlogist and Journey to Health and all of the people that I'd already subscribed to previously. And so if I haven't commented yet, it's because I haven't had the chance to, but I have all of the videos. First of all, I have all of the notifications from all the videos that I still have to watch. I've also made a playlist of all the videos I need to catch up on. There's like 35 in there now. And what I've been doing is I watch them 
while I'm like doing the dishes or whatever. And then I just have to remember to go back and do the comments. So I've most likely already watched your video. I just haven't had the chance to go back and comment. So you're gonna see my comments show up like super late, but I am doing my very, very best to keep up with all of the, the videos that are posted. I tell you what, I have not watched this much YouTube in my life. I'm, n I'm never gonna have to watch real television ever again. But it's really, really good because it keeps me focused and motivated and on track and helps me, you know, if I've been wanting to slack off or not eat well or whatever, I just, I pop on those videos that I need to catch up on and it just gets me right back on track. So I'm really excited with all the wonderful things that I'm seeing and I just randomly found out about Jimmy Ricky, he was talking about my 10k walk situation where I ran out of water. I opened up his video and I saw that he was saying he was going to be talking about one of the stories from a video that he'd watched and then I saw a link to my channel in the description. And at first I thought it was just like all the vloggers participants but then I realized it was the only one and I was like what the heck is going on with this? And then I saw that he was talking about my story. So that was pretty cool to see that uh, people are seeing that and enjoying the, the things that I'm sharing. It's really nice to, to see that it's being received well. So I think that's gonna be it for today because I'm already at that minute mark where I know it gets to be a struggle to keep going with watching and I really don't wanna contribute to taking up too much of your time with catching up on all the videos, so. Thank you so much to the people that have recently subscribed to my channel. If you found me through Vlogist or Journey to Health, I, I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad that you're here. And um, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Side note slash public service announcement from my Vlogist video from day three. I realize now that that music track was super annoying and repetitive, so I do apologize for that. I was trying to get the editing done as fast as I could, so I just kind of picked something and threw it in there and didn't go back and listen to the full thing in its entirety before posting, so now I'm just like, that would get super annoying. So I will try better next time.